Okay, design. So I wanted to show you guys how to uh, do use Illustrator. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to self-service and you need to download the app that says Adobe Illustrator. Um, so this just came out last week um, at Adobe Max. And um, so they previously had this Adobe Illustrator Draw, which is a free version, which is really, really bad. And luckily they came out with the full version of Adobe Illustrator on iPad. So before this, we weren't able to use it because it wasn't available for iPad. Okay, um, so you're gonna download it. Okay, and then you need to go to, uh, you're gonna go to Canvas and you're gonna go to Modules and you're gonna go down to Week 12. Okay. And then under description, you're going to see this link that says one illustrator for iPad.ai. So I'm going to select it and it's going to be blank. So you're going to go to the upper right hand corner where you see the share and you're going to go down to where it says save to files and you want to say that you want to save it. So you're going to see this. You want to save it on the iPad and I'm going to save it to uh, the illustrator folder and then say save. And then it's gonna say, do I wanna replace it? And I do because I already practiced using it, okay? So um, you're gonna to go to Illustrator and you're gonna launch, okay? So I wanted to show you that the first time that you actually, I'm gonna log out so you can see what, I, what you would see. So I'm gonna sign out. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see the first time that you launch Illustrator. You're gonna to go to where it says continue with Adobe ID don't go to the Google account one, okay? And then you're gonna type in your uh, school address. And then you're gonna say that you're going in with a company or school account. Then it will push us to the Google. And you shouldn't have to do this every time, just the first time that you log in. And then next. And then your password all right and then you should be in okay so um, you're not going to create from scratch this time you're actually going to use the one that you just downloaded so I'm going to go to import and open in the lower left hand corner oh. import and open and then I'm going to pick um, the the one that I just downloaded okay and then you're going to see a document with three pages and I'm going to break up these three pages into three different videos. Okay. The first thing I wanted to point out to you guys was in the upper right hand corner, there's a question mark and um, there's one, there's one that says view gestures. So I just wanted to point out to you that these are gestures you can use with your fingers to one undo, um, to redo. So three finger tap. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll down and show you there's the zoom and pan. So that's going to be really important to us. Um, if I want to zoom in, I'm going to use two fingers and drag um, and pinch to zoom in and out. And then I could use two fingers to drag the page from left to right. That's what pan means. And then if you want to do a fit to view, use a, it says use a quick two finger pinch. Um, to view the entire page, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to point out to you was this little fun circle in the lower left-hand corner. So this is for if you don't have your keyboard attached, you can do basically a, like it's a right, it's a, like a right click is basically what that's for and we'll be using that throughout. On the right of the workspace, we have what are called our palettes or panels. And then on the left, we have our toolbar. So I'm just gonna walk you through um, each of the little boxes on this first page here. So I'm using my fingers to zoom in. And I'm gonna show you um, some of the tools and features of Illustrator by walking you through this digital worksheet, okay? So the first tool I'm gonna to show you is the selection tool. So it's already selected in the upper left-hand corner. So what does the selection tool do? It lets me select an object. And once I select it, I can click and move it and drag it. Okay. The other thing I could do with the selection tool is with an object, I can select it. And then in the upper, um, you'll see this little line with a circle hanging out. This lets me actually rotate it. So I'm going to try to perfectly rotate it. 
okay? And then I'm gonna click and drag that over. Oh, I have to do a two tap undo because it accidentally started resizing it instead of actually just moving it. Oh, it did it again. So is it hard to do on uh, <laughs> the iPad? Yes. Is it possible to do stuff with the iPad? Yes, I just have to get used to it. All right, the last thing you can do with the selection tool is actually resize it. So notice that if I click and drag from one of those points that it's gonna make a rectangle. It's not gonna make a square. So I'm gonna undo that. I just tap with my two fingers. And I'm gonna actually, you can hold shift on your keyboard, but the other thing you can do, I'm gonna tap to undo, um, is hold this circle in the lower left-hand corner and then resize. So I'm gonna resize it and then move it. So what can we do with the selection tool? Move things, rotate things, and we can also resize things, okay? The next tool that we're gonna move on to is the direct selection tool. So I'm gonna select that, okay? And I'm just gonna double, check that we're still recording because my other one did not continue to record, okay? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and what that lets me do is I selected the object and now I can select individual points and now I can move them. So what I want you to do is to use um, the direct selection tool, you're gonna, oops. Now here's the thing is I gotta undo. When you accidentally hold down on an anchor point, it actually deletes it. So it's a shortcut, but it might do you some harm. Um, and we'll learn more about anchor points as we kind of move on to, you know, making things with the pen tool and the pencil tool. Okay, but right now we're just learning. You can move individual points with the direct selection tool. All right, let's move back to the selection tool. And I'm gonna select this first square and I wanna change the color of it, right? A common thing that you'd wanna do after you make something, you wanna change the color. So when you um, select at the very bottom of the tool, you'll see that gray color that I already made it. And now you can see that you have this whole color wheel and you can change it to you know, whatever color. So you select the outside of like kind of what color range you want to be. And then inside that square, you can move around to actually pick the color that you want. All right, this next one, I want you to change the, the outline of it, and that is in Illustrator called the stroke. So I'm gonna select this one, and you're gonna look for the donut, that's what I'm calling it, at the bottom of the tool bar, and this little donut represents the stroke. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick like a, a red, and now it has a colored outline, which is called a stroke in Illustrator. Moving on to the next two. This next one, I want to change the uh, width of the stroke, the weight of the stroke. Um, so there's actually a little shortcut bar underneath something after you select it. And if you look at the second option there, you'll see these lines with different widths. So I'm gonna select that. And now you can see that you can click and drag to make it thinner or thicker. I like it. All right, next, I'm gonna select this stroke and I actually wanna change it into a dash stroke. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the properties panel and I'm gonna go down and you can see that I could have a linear line stroke or I can have a dash stroke. So that's how you change that. All right, moving on, we're going through these quick. The next one I wanna to change to a dash, but I also wanna show you that you can actually change um, the type of dash. So again, I'm in properties and I'm gonna go scroll down and I'm gonna do stroked, but notice, uh, dash, I'm sorry, next to the stroke. And then notice that you have all these like options. Um, I'm gonna go to the lower right hand corner and you'll see, I wanna change the strokes to have rounded corners and then that change the type of dash. Okay, oop, I accidentally, uh, two finger tap to undo. So this next one, I wanna change what's called the opacity of um, the shape. Also, you might think of it as transparent. So opaque means that you can't see through it, no light passes through it, but transparent means that you can see through it and light passes through it. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can do it, go it through the properties panel and you'll see the word opacity, okay? Or you could do the shortcut um, and that's that very first grid in the shortcut right underneath that little gray bar. And that first one lets you click and drag to change the opacity. And as you could see, what I accidentally did was, um, I accidentally moved it, but we can see that I put a yellow uh, square underneath it. So once you're doing that, you can kind of see that it's see-through and you can see through to the other shape underneath it. 
The next thing I want you to do is add a gradient to this circle. So I'm gonna select this, the uh, color well, and where it says the color wheel is on solid color, I'm gonna actually go to gradient. And as you can see at the top, I can add a linear gradient, a uh, radial gradient, or you could actually do one with individualized point. So right now it actually has two points on it, white and gray. But if I tap on the object, it's going to add more points. And as I change um, change the color, I can add a point and then change the color. And so you're going to have, you know, a multicolor. Uh, and I gotta, I'm going to change that gray one to green too. Okay. So you guys probably remember that I told you that the key to Getting really good gradients is using one color. I actually don't really like this one very much, but I picked green and then I did um, shades and tints of green. So that's like my hint to you if you wanna have a really good looking, um, yeah, I'm gonna bring it up to that, right? It just looks so much better with one color. So shades and tints of that color looks a lot better. Now say I did like a red and then I did like a yellow, and then I printed that, it's gonna look like mud between that if you ever print a gradient, a two color gradient. So pick one color, pick blue, or pick red, or pick yellow, and then just do shades and tints of that color to get a really pretty gradient. Okay, last one. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a stroke to this one. So I'm just gonna tap to get a stroke. And then I'm gonna go to properties, and then I'm gonna show you at the very bottom, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. Um, so right now we have cornered edges, but I can also do a rounded one or I can do a beveled one. So I wanted you to change it to a rounded edge. And that's it for, oh, double click to undo. Um, so that's just an introduction an introduction of um, some of the tools in Illustrator for iPad and then some of the things that you could do that are the most common questions of, hey, I'm in it, how do I do these things, okay? And then we'll have another video for pages two and three.